actually don't even know. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know if the guy's supposed to pay, if the girl's supposed to, if you're supposed to split it. I was just, I just got out of a four-year relationship, just, just recently. Yeah, thank you. are happy about that? Yeah. I'm single. You want to do this right now? This is a water bra. This is false advertising. But otherwise, I'm like, what, are you a pedophile? Is that it? But no, I did. I just got out of a four-year relationship. It was hard because what I learned after I got out of the four-year relationship, I learned that women, we're not given the skills we need to survive in the world without a man. I learned this because right after we broke up, I got a brand new car. Four days after I got a brand new car, I filled it up with diesel fuel. Now, I always love this reaction because all the guys in the audience are always like, oh, God. And all the girls are just like, so? <laughs> diesel fuel was. I pulled up, the regular was out of order. The surprise, I was like, oh, I'll just fill it up with diesel fuel. And there was a green button and a gr- I was like, oh, it's probably better for the environment because it's green. And then you guys are probably wondering how I got the nozzle to fit because the diesel nozzle doesn't even fit in a regular car. I jammed it in there. I was like, I'm self-sufficient, God damn it. Uh, a mile later, my car was a ball of fire. But women are not taught practical information like this. We're not taught to live in reality. We're taught to live in our imaginations in a fantasy land, right? I remember, it's true, growing up, I used to have imaginary tea parties. I would, I would put imaginary tea in imaginary cups and drink them with my stuffed animals. That's fucking crazy, okay? <laughs> like in any other universe, that's just schizophrenia, right? And the problem is it carries into adulthood. Like guys, you ever get in a fight with your girl and she's much more pissed off you than she should be? And you're like, whoa, that argument escalated really fast. It's because for the last week we've been having a fight with you in our imaginations. And in our head, you said all the wrong shit. So by the time we see you in person, we're like, oh yeah, well that's not what you said last week in my mind. a lot of things that women do not learn a lot of practical information like I didn't know what a 401k was till like a month ago I thought it was a marathon I swear to God I was like why are my friends running in this marathon 400 miles fuck that and the things that are supposed to prepare women for life don't at all like I was in the Girl Scouts the Girl Scouts does not teach you any skills right the Girl Scouts basically teaches you to sell a bunch of cookies that you didn't freaking make Okay? Like, if you're to take the skills you learned in the Girl Scouts and apply them as an adult, you're selling things to strangers in a miniskirt. You're a hooker. That's what you do for a living. (laughs) That's your job now. But guys learn real skills. You guys, you know, go to the Eagle Scouts, and you guys learn how to, you know, make ropes and... (laughs) Make fires and stuff. And women don't learn those kind of survival skills. And I was thinking about how much that pissed me off after that happened to me, you know? But then I kind of, like... Got perspective. I was like, you know what? Guys may know how to make ropes and fires and stuff, but women, we can make people. (laughs) Okay, that is pretty badass, okay? Give me the backseat of a Taurus and some Sutter home. I can duplicate. (laughs) And guess what? It comes out on a freaking rope. (laughs) Guys, you are never supposed to scream in the bedroom. That is so gay. 